Toledo. You look very depressed. Are you alright? No. I'm not alright. What is the matter? I'm tired. I am sick and tired of everything. Why me? Why? It, it, it's okay. Just calm down and tell me everything. What is it? Going to? Mama, I'm going to the palace. To the palace? Why? I know neither the king nor the queen summoned you. Not even the princess. Mama, I have decided to take the bull by the horn. I don't understand. I have decided to dance to the queen's tune. My son, did, did anything happen? Nothing, nothing. I'm not interested anymore. Hey! Mwa la puta. Mwa la Eh? Bina, please. Please, my son. Don't go yet. Oh? Let's talk it over first. There is nothing to talk over again, Mama. Please. I've made up my mind. I'm going there. I'm, I'm going there, Mama. Obina! Obina!
And I'm happy that I told you people from the very beginning that the gods have never misled us. The gods have never let us down. This is a classic case of wickedness. Mom. For an uncle to swear to deprive a small boy of all his entitlements I am happy that we have found this out. I am glad that we can handle it. And I know that our gods will help us to straighten matters. <laughs> oh! I said it before, and I'll say it again, with fresh emphasis. The gods of our land have never misled us. The gods of our land have never lied to us. And the gods have proved once again that they have always guided us aright. I summon you people here today for us to deliberate on developments within the kingdom. And I'll be glad to welcome suggestions from all of you. Thank you. Mm. Your Highness, mm. considering the gravity of the offense they committed, I am suggesting that they be banished. Your Royal Highness, it is my humble suggestion that all of them be summoned here and be put to death by hanging to serve as a deterrent to others like them in this community.
Your Highness. To err is woman and to forgive you divine. Sit down. I'm suggesting. Shut up and sit them. down. Sit down. Your Highness, your authority is overwhelming and your leadership is commendable. I have always admired your style of leadership. I must tell you the truth that my heart is with Ichio Sit, sit down. Sit down. Uh, uh, sit down. Your Majesty, it seems to me that some of us, especially Chair Okemwa and Chair Udele, don't know the gravity of the offense committed by Mr. Ophi Ogono and the Kennedy Okeke, especially Chair Okemwa and Chair Udele. And that is why they are treating this case with levity. Mr. Ophi Ogono allowed himself to be used as an instrument by the devil to obstruct the destiny of a young man whom the gods have determined to be the future king of this kingdom. What about Kennedy Okeke? It is still fresh in our mind that Kennedy Okeke masterminded the chaos that existed in this kingdom for some time now, which in no small measure undermined the peace that this kingdom is known for. If I should have my way, Your Highness, in addition to banishment, I would suggest that they be dragged to this royal ground and be given 12 strokes of the cane, each of them. However, I am not of the opinion that they be hanged because our authority is limited by that of the government. I greet you. Thank you very much. I have listened to your contributions and I must say I'm impressed. It is shameful, it is disgraceful that members of this revered cabinet, respected for their cultural station and revered for their identities, could conspire to inflict chaos on this kingdom. Ichie Okemwa and Ichie Udene are a disgrace to this cabinet. I had suspected all along that they were part of a big conspiracy to undermine our efforts. Now I have proved conclusively that they really were a part of a grand design masterminded by the Queen herself to ensure that the destiny of this kingdom is queered. I am minded to kick both of them out of this cabinet but I am restrained by the fact that it could raise some scandal. And coming to Kennedy, who initiated the rumor that compelled us to question the gods, I would want him and his fellow conspirator to be banished from this kingdom after they would have forfeited all that they have 
to the community. As for Ophia Oguno, all his property must revert to Obina, the heir to this throne, and Ophia must subsequently be banished never to return to this kingdom. I have spoken. The chosen one remains the chosen No matter what the people say or do Delay is not denial And no matter trial you may pass through Your time will come to shine It might take some time <laughs> Where are you calling me from? No, I've, I've been calling you. You, you know the way you walk. Vroom, 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 eh? Just now? Yes, now I'm with my bike. Oh my God, honestly, I didn't see you. I am sorry. How are you, my friend? Hey, where have you been all this while? No, I, I went for a business trip. Eh, okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Hi. Uh, no, you look troubled. Is everything okay? I'm okay, just that I'm tired after what happened at the town square this afternoon. Oga, okay, I'm coming, eh? Town, town square? What? Wait, has Kennedy be crowned prince? <laughs> Kennedy, crown prince. I wish you can. Afa, as I am talking to you right now, our friend Kennedy has been banished from this town. What? Never to return. <laughs> no, I can't believe this. Uh, can I banish him? Why? <laughs> Listen to me. Our friend Kennedy has been driven out of this village by the youths just because of that rumor he masterminded. Hey! Afam. <laughs> you don't understand. You just came back. Afam. You never in this village know you as a joker. Oh, this is no one. No, 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 now let me tell you another one. Obina's uncle, Ofia, Obo Ofia Flago, has been sentenced to death by hanging. Anyway, just because of the spell he cast on him. Abomination! Uh, he has not, not had anything. Wait. A lot of things are happening at the same time. Um, Afam, did he cast a spell on Obina? Are you sure you're in this village? He is the cause of Obina's problems all this while now. Chai, just because of that. Now him to death according to our tradition. Hey, what if he He don't. He just came back. He won't understand. People are wicked. In fact, he just just wicked. We need to talk. We have a lot to talk about. Please let me go and drop a bag. I'll see you. Ah, people in this village. Hey, hey. I'll see you. I will tell you more. Okay. I hope you brought something for us. I didn't plan, but I can. You trust me. What will be will be. If it's meant to be, it will surely be. Iwe. Today is a historic day in the annals of the Jedu Kingdom because today we admit into our presence the Prince of the Jedu Kingdom and the heir to my throne. He is also the husband to my daughter. I greet all of you. Amen. In exercise of the powers conferred on me by the gods of our land, I shall now proceed to perform the function of welcoming him into the kingdom. Amen. Amen. Whom the gods have blessed, no man can cause, yeah, yeah, to succeed is a must. 
Cause in God you trust. Cause in God you trust. Ooh. Just see back and watch and see the enemy scatter and the evil plans shatter. See the enemy scatter. He is now the prince. And the evil plans shatter. Mm. My prince, you can now proceed to introduce yourself to the entire cabinet. No one Move can ahead. Take it from it belongs to you. <laughs> no more obstacle. Go ahead. What will be will be. What will be will be. If it's meant to be. If it's meant to be. It will show. Oh, what about one of You wait. What do you want for Oh, oh, darling, man. Maybe I'm wrong. Trust in God, what will be will be your destiny. Is your destiny. You now have my permission to retire with your no wife. No one can children. take it from you, it belongs to you. What will be? If it's meant to be, it will surely be.
చూస్తామన్నమాట If one says a foul can swallow a lizard, one definitely meant tiny lizards and not the agama. Mother, you seem to forget that my husband is not only the royal prince, but he is also the future king. The prince and the future king, my foot. Listen, Oliver. As far as this palace is concerned, I am in charge. You are just the princess. And your husband is an adopted prince. And I am the queen. Both of you must always obtain permission from me before you embark on any venture in this palace. Like I said, mother, I don't know what you were talking about. But what I do know is that my husband is the royal prince and in the absence of the king, he is in charge of this palace according to the tradition of our land. All you do. What do you know about the tradition of our land? I know everything about the tradition of our land, Mother. Don't dare me. Children, your majesty, do not fail me again this time. No, I will not. As a matter of fact, you don't have a reason to fail me this time. <sighs> Just do everything the way we have planned it. Your majesty, you have nothing to fear. Trust me, like I told you when the king died, you, I, you see, I have the key to the success of your ambition. That's very good. Have you arranged for the young man? Uh, not yet, Your Majesty. I am taking my time this time to get a perfect match. That's okay. That's okay. Ichi Odene. Your Majesty. Do this for me and you will never regret it. <laughs> uh, thank you, Your, Ma Your Majesty. I will not fail you. I will succeed. Very well then. Don't forget to get in touch with me if you need anything. Oh, I will not fail to get in touch. Consider everything done. Very well then. Thank you very much. Oh.
the three cars parked behind the palace. Give them to me. I heard voices. My prince, is everything all right? Found out from your mother. Mother, don't mother me. He is my problem. Tell your husband to give me the keys to the three cars parked behind the palace. He does not have a right to possess them. Mother, what is wrong with you in this palace? What is it? He is wrong with me. I'm going to give both of you the shock of your lives. Soon I will embark on a journey to find my late husband's real son. And both of you know what that means. No one would believe my story if I tell. Come here. Tell me your story. I'll believe you. It's not right. We will have to wait till midnight before we kill those bastards. We have to obey the royal instruction. That is rubbish. Let's kill this fool and get out of this stinking bush now. What, is what does it take to shoot this guy? I can kill this guy with my bare hands. This guy is too small now. I am in charge here. And what I say, we will all do. We will have to wait till midnight before we kill this guy. And that is the royal instruction. Oh! I am not interested in any rubbish royal instruction. Look, guys, how much the queen bring for him? If the queen wants us to do a good job, make him bring money. Guys, see, I'm leaving this. Guys, 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 keep quiet now. Don't they make noise here now? Don't they worry? Don't they make noise here now? What are you saying? If I find that crazy thing happen, if you don't shut your mouth up, I'll blow it for you. That, but no, you blow my mouth up for me. I will. I will. Guys, they don't, they don't blow you well. Guys, why does they make this guy noise? Don't you the don't What's in the water? Don't come on, come on. What's in the water? You know what?
That was how I escaped the death planned against me by your mother, the queen, because I was chosen by the gods to be the prince of this kingdom. Why didn't you say something? Why would you keep quiet over an issue like this? I mean, my father would have reacted to this. Your father wouldn't have believed me. Maybe you too. Your mother, the queen, on several occasions offered me bribe. That I should declare in front of the king, your late father. I'm not interested in the priesthood of this kingdom. What? Yes. Oh my God, I am in shock. She even threatened my life after I failed to follow her instructions. My mother is a living testimony. My mother persuaded me to tell you. But I was afraid. I felt that it would have affected the good relationship and happiness you have with the queen, your mother, the queen. Oh God. Now wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is the reason I kept seeing my mother at your house? Abomination. This evil took place in this kingdom and you kept quiet. No, you made a very big mistake, my prince. Eh? You made a very big mistake. It is only a naughty man that sold his sword and went about wearing the empty sheath. It is quite true that you were not crowned a prince by then, but you should have spoken out. You should have spoken out, my prince. That an old woman is weak does not mean she cannot go after a giddy goat that has carried her snuff box. Yes! The gods of our land are with you. And they will always stand behind you in all your endeavors. You didn't get it right, my prince. You didn't. Is it the key? A fowl does not bath in the sun out of pleasure. I made such mistake in the past. But I can promise you, I will never give room to its repetition. I've had you, my prince. I've had you. Um, on the issue of the dead king having a son in some faraway place, from my own point of view, I think the queen is bluffing. Though we should not overlook it, as you rightly pointed out, not to worry. The moment you are crowned the king, all this rubbish will stop. So I'm going to summon a meeting in the next three days. We need to commence arrangement immediately for your coronation. We have mourned the late king, your father, for two full years as our tradition and custom demands. We need to move forward. Yes, it is very important that we move forward. But let me advise you here. 
that we do not discuss what you have just narrated to me here in the meeting for some strategic reason, though we must work on it. Do you understand me? It's okay with me. Uh, good, good. Uh, so, how is the princess and her son? They are all fine. If it's meant to be, it will surely be. The throne vacated by our late king, Igwa Patozuora I, of Ejedu Kingdom, needs to be filled. Having mourned him for two full years, as our custom demands, it is indeed time for the coronation of the prince as the new king of Ejedu land to take place. So I suggest that we... Uh, um, Elders of Ejedu kingdom. A dude does not run in the daytime for nothing. It's either the dude is pursuing something or something is pursuing it. As we can see, our honorable and beautiful queen is unexpectedly here and she has requested to talk to us for some minutes. Shall we please Grant her audience. My queen, mm. Thank you, Ichedike. Thank you, my queen. Elders of our land, I greet you. I know you will be wondering what I am doing in your meeting. Something I have not done before. It is an indication of how serious my mission is. Uh, actually, it concerns your present discourse. I agree that a, a king should be crowned to fill this vacant throne. My late husband confided in me before he died that he had a son with a young woman in faraway Umweze. He said he would have gone there to search for his son but he couldn't because of his old age. So he gave me details and description of the, the woman. So in no distant date, I will be embarking on a journey to search for my late husband's son. So I want to appeal to you not to crown an adopted prince, the king of our land, before I return. Thank you very much. Elders of a Jedi land. Mm -hmm. We must not be carried away by frivolities. True, the queen has spoken, but it is left for us to decide the next line of action. Thank you. As for me, I have not had this sort of story before. This is my first time. I 
of hearing it. I don't know if there is any of you who has heard it before. I've never, me, I've never, never mentioned it. Before. I've heard it now. You never mentioned it, so how can I have heard it now? I've heard it now. You have not heard it now. Whether I've heard it or not, don't you have a friend? To me, it's a good permission to speak. Hey, you can go ahead and share with them. What we have had may sound very inconsequential, but I am worried about it in this kingdom. We must avoid a situation that may lead to parallel administration in this kingdom. Thank you. What is thank you there? Um, the late king may have a son just past the queen and say, he no way is it. An appeal to all of us that we should not be in a hurry to crown anybody. Exactly. Yeah. Let us therefore postpone the coronation. It's yeah. not possible. Uh, allow him to come down. You have something to yes. say? Yes. Uh, go ahead. Uh, Indichi, a person who walks along the farm boundary should not crush any crop with his foot. Oh. We ought to approach this sensitive matter with no bias mind. Yes, a son and a prince. What a contradiction. We must look before we leave. To avoid regrets. Mm. Okay. I am in support of what the last speaker said. Thank you. Please let us postpone the coronation. I am not in support Thank of what the last speaker said. I am not in support of it. Any other person? I will always refer to a spare as a spare and not a carry sword. You have it. The foul says that he merely raised his head to his creator in order to ask him questions. Which foul? And the detractors accuse him of a bad neck. Son or no son, we already have a prince. And we must crown him the king of this land as the gods have decreed. Bam! The gods have decreed. I'm so shall be. Yes. Whoever has the intention of dividing this kingdom for selfish reasons, must have himself to blame, period. The chosen one remains the chosen No matter what the people say or do Delay is not denial And no matter trial you may pass My mother came into the cabinet meeting today and disrupted every arrangement made for my coronation with some useless story of her late husband's son. What? My mother actually said that in a cabinet meeting? Not only that, but she told the meeting apart. And I've noticed that she has bribed some of the cabinet members to, to aid her accomplish her aims. Oh my God. What about IJDK? What is his position in this matter? He is on my side. Good. But your mother says she's going to embark on a journey in search of her late husband's son. She must be out of her senses. My father has no son. This woman, she's doing all she can to tear this kingdom apart and she will not succeed. The gods will not allow her. What nonsense! I am sorry to interrupt your meeting, but I would like to inform both of you that henceforth, no meeting will take place in this palace without my permission. <laughs> that should be a joke, because it's impossible. Are you talking to me? Yes, I am talking to you, Queen Elizabeth. You have failed before, and you will fail again. Don't. Don't. I regret having you as a mother. The chosen one remains the chosen No matter what the people say or do
Good afternoon, my queen. Good afternoon, too. I was actually on my way to your house. Really? Yes. Okay. We can talk here. If you insist. Excuse me. Yes, my queen. This way. you to do a favor for me. I see. I want you to give me the kind of support you gave to my late husband. I know that he has already been crowned prince. But I still believe that it can be reversed. You know, Ichi, a good yam and a water yam cannot struggle for positions in the frontage of the barn. There is a great difference between an adopted prince and a true blood prince. Ichi, please, I want you to help me because everything depends on you. To tell you how serious I am concerning this. This is a check of five million naira. Please take it and do it for me. Um, I am sorry to keep your hand hanging, my queen. How I wish you requested for another thing. You see, in line with our custom, my hands are tied in a matter like this because the gods of our land abhors a thing like this. However, with regard to your wonderful offer, I thank you very much for that, but I'm afraid I cannot accept it, my queen. Meaning? Meaning that I'm not interested in that offer. My hands are tied. Ichi Edike, you're going to regret this. Thank you very much, my queen. I'm sorry. offered you a check of five million naira and you didn't collect it? <laughs> what should I have done, my prince? Collect the check? We could have used it against her if only you had collected it. No, I don't work that way. I don't at all. Look, you are the prince of this kingdom. And you don't have battle or war with any human being. You see, you don't have to entertain any fear. All the people of this kingdom are solidly behind you. Mm. Mm. So did she give you details about her late husband's son? Uh, she didn't. Because she knows that I, I'm aware there is no son dead or alive, you see. Look, it is now that I'm aware of what is going to happen in this kingdom. So I am going to arrange for a meeting with selected members of the cabinet. But this time around, the venue will be shifted to your sitting room. That's okay with me. Good. Very okay. 
You see, we need to start an arrangement immediately about your correlation. You need to be crowned as soon as possible so as to maintain peace and stability in the kingdom and at the same time forestall every uh, impending eventuality. Look, lest I forget, you need to attach more security personnel to yourself. I mean able-bodied men. Because I have the inkling that something sinister is going to take place in this kingdom. An arrangement has been made concerning that. Good. My wife brought up the idea. And you know my wife. She knows her mother very well. Good. Uh, don't worry, you'll soon be crowned so that you will have access to the palace guard. It's a decay. I'm very grateful. Very, very grateful. Uh, don't worry, we are doing all these things for the sake of the kingdom. Everything will soon be alright. Okay, in that case, I should take my leave now. Don't worry. Um, that reminds me. What about your mother? I have not seen her for quite some time. My mother is fine. Very fine. Really? She hasn't been around all this while. Oh, I thought that's much. The chosen one yes. remains the chosen, no matter what the people say or do. Delay is well, not denial. I want to thank both of you for being present in this meeting. There's a saying, many are called, but the chosen ones are few. We are the chosen ones. So the progress and safety of this great kingdom lies in our hands. So we must stand firmly on our feet and kick our enemies out. A date for my coronation has been chosen. But I want us to know that our enemies do not slumber. They must come out with some drastic measures to destabilize our efforts. But I must say this, we should not relent. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we are making progress. I thank you, our prince and the king to be for your impressive speech. Um, on behalf of the entire cabinet, I, the Prime Minister of a Jedu Kingdom, I am promising you that we shall not fail you. Arrest them. Huh? All of them. They are good laws. Hey. Hey. Queen. They call like police. Obviously. Yes. Hey. What charge do you have against us now? You are causing anarchy in this kingdom. Hey, Officer, arrest them. Hey, Officer. Officer. I am the prince of this kingdom. And these men are the elders of this land. If you have anything against me, invite me to your station and stop embarrassing me in my house. I'm sorry, my prince. This is an order from above. And what nonsense order are you talking about? Do you even know where you are? Huh? Sorry, madam. Officer, arrest these people. No exception. Ah. Um, Do not force me to call your superior. Um, my queen, we are trying to be... Diplomatic here. I said you should not force me to call your superior. My husband is going nowhere. Oh. Now you. So this is the estate you took it to. Hmm? Holedo, shut up before I include your name to the list. <laughs> I would love to see you try. You are nothing but a disgrace to this kingdom. Them. Officer, the elders of this land 
go with you to the station. Why are coming immediately? Asu, let him go with them. Arrest everybody. Um, <coughs> my friend, I know. Take it easy, my friend. I don't need to fuss. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. My place will come. <laughs> hey, queen. <laughs> queen, queen. You know the uncle we are doing here. I'm moving. <laughs> My press is coming. That's all. <laughs> you can't do it. Down the street, rain, rain, rain. Life is but a dream. Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. Don't really marry me. Life is but a dream. Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. Really, really. And where is she going? Where else? In search of her little husband's son. Right. What a serious minded queen. She's so proud of her actions. You know, it's a pre planned arrangement. She started it before your father died. Well, I can assure you she's going on a fruitless mission. if not who else. Mm -hmm. I, I heard that she locked up some members of the cabinet in the police station. Is it true? That woman, she's a very wicked woman. Hi. See, I only heard that she even wanted to arrest the prince herself too. And you're talking. Are you serious? Very serious. Hey! Uh, come on. There's this room around the town. Is it true? In which room, okay? That the late Igwe has a son. <laughs> Why are you laughing now? Let me just tell you. Don't tell me that you believe that through your life. Let me just tell you. Listen to me. You see that woman? She just wake up one day and cook up the story in order to remove the. Are you serious? Very serious. Hey! You mean the story is not true? It is not true, my dear. Hey! Dad. This village. <laughs> Please come, let's go. Please. I mean, let's, let's go. go. Hey, this village. Um, my prince, it is my pleasure to inform you that every necessary arrangement has been put in place in line with our tradition and culture. I want us to remember that we have barely two weeks to the coronation and there is no going back. Uh, everything we are going to do 
we have to do with this patch because the throne of a Jedu kingdom is still lying vacant. Vacant. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Now may I know who is this young man you brought into this palace? And who are you to ask me such a question? I am the prince of this kingdom. And I will not allow strangers into this palace. If I were you, I would have rented a place elsewhere for your royal visitor. Watch your tongue. For your information, this is my late husband's son, and he has come back to possess his possession. My queen, I can't understand what is happening here. I thought you promised to bring me to my biological father's house, so who are all these people? This is the impostor I told you about. These men were frowning at me when I told them that I was going in search of you. Hey, young man, whatever it is you are called, I don't care to know. Let me introduce myself. I am Oledo, and I am the princess of this kingdom. She is my mother. And over here, the prince of our land, my husband. Yes. Now, obviously, you have connived with your mother to cause confusion in this kingdom. I just feel sorry for you because you don't know what you just got yourself into. See this heat? You can take it. The game, you will enjoy. So I suggest that you crawl back into whatever hole it is that you crawled up from. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oliver, I will not tolerate any nonsense from you anymore. Hmm. Uh, my queen, I don't think this is the best way to get about this. Don't you dare talk to me! You have disappointed the late king. Psychophant. Um, uh, let, let's handle this matter amicably. The, the prince should be allowed in first. Uh, I mean, we, he's traveled from a very far place and needs some rest. Chihuahua, for my late father will be turning on his grave to see or hear that you have joined Francis with these people to tear the kingdom apart. All of you! All of you leave this place at once. Bam! I wonder why the Commissioner of Police has refused to take my call. I can't understand what is going on. My queen, relax your nerves. Relax. I suggest that Prince Gerard stays here for the moment, so as to enable us plan against these people. After all, this place belongs to our late king. Our prince cannot stay in this place. The palace belongs to him, for goodness sake. We have to arrest everybody without exception so that we can make way for the queen and the prince to move back to the palace. You're right, Ichiyo My major problem is that the commissioner of police is not taking my calls. I am beginning to feel that he has been bribed by our adversary. We have to think. We have to think of another option, another way out. <clears throat> Unity is the only aspect we cannot do without. Once united, we can move mountains no matter what. I mean, a drastic measure is highly required in matters like this. We don't need to start fighting everybody. Just the key people. Those commandos that make things happen, the moment we get them subdued, the rest is like one, two, three. We will dismiss now. I want you to think about what happened at the palace today. We are going to come back here tomorrow to put our heads together. 
Uh, how is Udine's health? Well, thank the God, she's getting better. Okay. Very well then. I want you to spread the news. Tell our people that the biological prince is back. That he has been found. We have to solicit for our people's support. The chosen one remains the chosen No matter what the people say or do Delay is not denial And no matter how you may find Where look for? My boss Don't leave for look Yes You sure? Where did Gary come now? My business, I bring for now You sure say the person don't follow you come here? So how far now I go with you now? Business. Money they involved. Scram that. Money they involved. By the time we execute our strategies, we will move in, subdue them, then we take over the kingdom. Are you really sure this pair you are working with are trustworthy? I told you I have tried all of them. They take instructions only from me. Can you swear there is no spy among them? Listen, as the queen of this kingdom, I have the authority to head the affairs of this kingdom. But I decided to invite you. Forget about what my daughter and that boy are doing. My daughter is under a spell. And I'm ready. Ready to save her from it. Excuse me. How did it go? I hope that gang is not an amateur. Very well then, I'll get in touch with you later. We need the support of our people. Oh, it is. admitted at the hospital. What? Oh my God, is he alive? I don't know. The caller didn't say that to me. He only told me he took me at the hospital. Hey! Oh God. Okay, just take some guards with you. Obviously. Guards! It is so strange that Ichie Dike had to end it like this. Hi. 
and he was about negotiating with us. How are we sure that the prince and the princess do not have a hand in his death? Maybe our rivals sensed what was about to happen. They invited him to the palace and killed him on his way home. Incredible. We must not keep quiet over this matter. You're right. Let us go ahead and let the people know what happened to Ichi Edike. You are right, Ichi. Spread the news, Ichi. You see, everything is working in our favor. By the time the people get to know what has happened to their prime minister, the prince and the princess will lose the people's confidence. You see, my queen, delay is dangerous. The ball is now in our court. Let us go ahead and conclude all arrangements towards the coronation of Prince Gerard. You're correct. Yes. My pen. I think it would have been better if we first and foremost confirm the death of Ichie Dike before any other thing. Ichie Omuna will stop drawing us back. Eh? If you want to confirm his death, you can go ahead and do it. What's the meaning of this? And by the way, what is still delaying Ichie Odene? I don't think you know. No, I am. I'm Ichie. Again, now, honestly, I am worried. I am worried about what is happening in this kingdom. What is this now? Awesome. I am even more worried than you. In fact, I am troubled. The queen has turned this kingdom apart. Oh, oh. I don't... I... Honestly, if I had known, I wouldn't have supported Kennedy when he had that case against our friend there, Obina. Honestly, I am regretting every inch of it. I'm regretting it. Don't you think we're even lucky that we did not further ahead with him? Where is he today? Didn't you hear that the, the, the attack on Obi and his guard the other night? The night this, uh, Ichi Edike was killed. The same night. L look at Amechi. I was thinking that you're current with news. That one is an old story now. The new story in town now is that Obina had a hand in the, uh, 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 in the, new, uh, in the death of the, uh, the prime minister. You didn't hear that one. Obina, don't you know that they're about crowning that stranger, the, the king of this... Uh, kingdom. God forbid. Ah, no, they can never succeed. That can they never will not happen. succeed. <laughs> okay. See, let me tell you. Obina needs our support now as our friend. All we need to do now is for us to unite yes. and walk down to that palace. Yeah, At least they will open the door for us. They will listen to us. Huh? Yes. I, 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 